dear students today we are going to discuss about the topic nomenclature of geometrical isomers already we have discussed nomenclature two nomenclature uh, cis trans nomenclature and ez nomenclature in this part 2 can sin and is system sin and is system nomenclature of geometrical isomer sin and is system nomenclature of geometrical isomer uh before entering the topic examples of cis trans more examples examples of strings cis and uh, trans isomerism is uh, malic acid fumaric acid transform and cis on 3 dimethyl cyclobutane trans on 3 dimethyl cyclobutane these are the examples cis cyclohexane on 4 diol malic acid cis form fumaric acid trans form cis on 3 dimethyl uh, cyclobutane trans on 3 dimethyl cyclobutane cis cyclohexane on 4 diol trans 2 3 dibromo uh, but 2 in cis 2 3 dibromo but 2 in um, cycloalkanes um, cis cycloal uh, cyclodecane and transcyclodecane these are the examples of cis trans isomerism more examples of trans trans isomerism um, the limitations of cis trans nomenclature uh, the cis trans nomenclature some limitation is there if restricted atom have all different group then we cannot be right cis trans nomenclature if restricted atom have all different group uh, we cannot be right cis trans nomenclature if restricted atom have all different group then we cannot be right cis trans nomenclature in this case c double bond c is the atom containing uh, four different carbon atom a b c D for different uh, groups or atom we cannot write cis nomenclature of such compound uh, for example in this case uh, four halogen group are attached to C double bond C fluorine bromine iodine chlorine we cannot write the cis trans nomenclature such compound therefore we writing such type of nomenclature is we study new concept called EZ nomenclature already discussed it, EZ nomenclature the limitations of cis nomenclature when restricted if it's restricted all different groups we uh, attach it to the C double bond C therefore we cannot write we cannot write cis trans nomenclature in this case These are the limitations of cis trans uh, nomenclature. Next, the can ignore prelog for a same EZ configuration. Uh, when uh, can include prelog sequence rule for assigning EZ configuration, the rule number four is not discussed in the last class. The rule number four, the, the fourth rule is the if group have multiple bond then convert all p bond into hypothetical sigma bond if already uh, discussed in chapter uh, optical isomerism uh, rnd system, uh, system nomenclature of optical isomer the rule number four is the uh, if group have multiple bond or double bond or triple bonded compound um, it is will converted to uh, double bonded compound converted to two groups uh, two atoms they are equal to two atoms triple bond compound equal to three atoms that is the uh, if a group have multiple bond then convert all p bond into hypothetical sigma bond and follow the same concept higher atomic number same concept of higher atomic number uh, these are the example uh, a highest per configuration the both the group have higher priority in this case uh, this uh, tri triple bond ch that equal to uh, three atoms but uh, in this c double bond oh uh, they equal to the c double bond o 
equal to two atoms therefore uh, this both group are higher priority in this case therefore it's have z configuration the uh, higher priority on the opposite side same side uh, have a z configuration on opposite side it's have e configuration already discussed z and e con configuration z have highest priority group have both on the same side of the double bond have uh, uh, it is known as z configuration on opposite side it's known as e configuration next some examples of e z configuration this is the uh, z configuration example of z configuration uh, here you have same side uh, e configuration high priority group on the high priority group on the opposite side therefore e configuration um, z configuration the also priority group to middle group on the same side the z, z configuration this is a cis form in this case uh, this is a cis form but e configuration its configuration is a because the highest priority group on the opposite side highest priority group on opposite side therefore it's a e configuration so there are no relation between cis trans and e z nomenclature so uh, so there is uh, no relation between cis trans and e z nomenclature so another example z configuration the highest priority group on this same side um, uh, 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 e configuration the uh, highest priority group on opposite side highest priority group on the opposite side another example z configuration these are the examples of some examples of e z configuration next we have discussed sin and d nomenclature of geometric isomer the restricted rotation system in which sin and e nomenclature present the restricted rotation system in which sin and e nomenclature present the sin um, carbon nitrogen double bond it's possible carbon nitrogen double bond and a nitrogen nitrogen double bond in this case sin and e system nomenclature used for geometric isomer carbon nitrogen double bond and a nitrogen nitrogen double bond uh, C double bond N and N double bond N when uh, the C double bond N that arise when aldehyde and ketone react with the NH2G the G is the group group of atom example OH energy to phenyl etc G is the group any group of atom that is the OH energy to phenyl etc in this case of aldehyde aldehyde case um, RCOH then react with the NH2 G group the elimination of water molecule will get a RC double bond NHG this show geometrical isomer this uh, compound show geometrical isomer in this case ketone ketone elimination of water molecule will get a this type of molecule r, r dash c double bond n g it show geometrical isomer in aldehyde the sin configuration and a and the configuration sin configuration if g and h aldehyde are present on the same side the g and h are present on the uh, in aldehyde are present on the same side such configuration called sin and the configuration g and h of aldehyde are present on the opposite side then such configuration called and the when G and H aldehyde are present on the same side, its configuration called a skin. This is the sin configuration, uh, sin oxine. This is the oxine, oxine. 
uh, anti configuration the z and h channel here present on the opposite side this configuration is called anti is anti configuration anti oxin example anti configuration anti oxin these are the h and z are on the opposite side in this case h and g are on the same side in case ketone and the in case ketone if both alkyl groups are the same then there is no geometric isomerism is exit both alkyl both alkyl groups are same there is no geometric isomerism is exist but when both alkyl groups are different then sin anti nomenclature is exist and let's understand uh, we write sin and anti formed with respect to the alkyl group we must be specify alkyl group along with the name and in case uh, ketone uh, if both alkyl groups are the same then no geometric isomerism will not possible but both alkyl groups are different then sin anti nomenclature is exist we write anti form with respect to alkyl sin anti form with respect to alkyl group we must be specify alkyl group, alkyl group along with the name in this case um, the methyl and ch3 group is there the methyl sin oxin or ethyl anti oxin takes methyl sin oxin in this case uh, methyl group and ethyl group this is the methyl anti oxin this is the ethyl sin oxin is the sin, sin anti nomenclature in case of ketone in ketone methyl sin oxin and ethyl anti oxin this is a methyl anti oxin so ethyl sin oxin if, uh, alkyl group if both are same there is no geometric isomerism just not exist but alkyl groups are different the sin anti nomenclature is exist in sin anti nomenclature in azo compound azo compound <clears throat> the sin configuration if both the lone pair or both bone pair are present on the same side of azo linkage then such configuration is called sin but anti configuration if both the lone pair or both bone pair are present on the same opposite of the azo linkage then such configuration is called as both the lone pair or both bone pair are present on the same side of a soul linkage then such configuration is called as sin in this case sin sin configuration uh, but anti configuration the both lone pair and bone pair are present on the opposite side of the azo linkage then such configuration is called as anti in this case anti understand this is the um, sin anti nomenclature in azo compounds sin configuration and anti configuration sin configuration the lone pair are uh, both bond pair are present on the same side this azo linkage such configuration is called as skin sin in this case lone uh, both the lone pair are present on the same side then anti configuration both lone pair or bond pair are present on the opposite side this azo linkage this configuration is called anti next more examples of sin anti nomenclature examples of sin anti nomenclature this is the methyl sin or ethyl ethyl sin this is sin configuration this is anti configuration uh, in case oxin this is oxin uh, methyl sin or ethyl anti Methyl anti configuration or phenyl sin configuration, sin configuration. These are the some examples of sin anti nomenclature. This is the sin anti nomenclature, the restricted rotation system in which sin anti nomenclature is present. In this case, carbon nitrogen double bond, C double bond N and nitrogen nitrogen double bond. The C double bond in arise when aldehyde and ketone react with the NH2G. This is a sin anti nomenclature in case of aldehyde and in case of ketone. 
they show uh, the, uh, this compound shows geometrical isomerism okay thank you